Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee. I'm back again with another video. I wanted to talk to you today about something that I struggled with um, in regards to, I guess, trying to figure out like what my blog was going to be about, what my YouTube channel was going to be about. Um, you know, when I did research and, I, you know, I'm looking to figure out how to focus my blog and my channel. The phrase was repeated again and again and again. Find your passion. What's your passion? What are you passionate about? And too many times I I I heard that, read that, and thought, I don't know. I don't I don't have a passion. I don't do anything. Um and it was really disheartening because I I you know, it just makes me feel like there's I have nothing to teach the world. I have nothing to share with anybody. I don't do anything. I'm boring. Um, there's nothing I could bring to the table. Um, but then today, for some reason, I'm not sure why this didn't dawn on me until now. Today I realized that I do have a passion and my passion is finding ways to earn money or save money. That's it. It's as simple as that. And you guys would probably know that if you've been here for a while. Um, most of the things that I talk about when I'm not talking about depression or my financial situation or, you know, all the other rambly type video things that I talk about. But I spend a lot of time, a ton of time on my phone searching for apps that I can use to earn money, um, websites that'll pay you. Um, ways of earning money, you know, outside of having a job. Basically, anything I could do to earn a dime here and there, I'm constantly searching for that, always. And trying out new apps that promise, you know, whatever, uh, survey sites, all kinds of things. You know, and you guys will probably know, Eric and I scrap. We scrap metals. Um, I was selling on a few um, apps and websites for a while. Um, just anything and everything that I could do to earn change here and there. I've recently talked about uh, doing Bitcoin faucets or Satoshi faucets. Um, earning gift cards to save money, you know. Um, I try to bargain shop as much as possible things that I can buy at the Dollar Tree that are of you know decent quality the foods have to taste you know okay um, the products have to work and they have to last but I just I realized that without without even thinking about it I, that's just what I'm driven to do it's always I think been inside of me I've been picking up pennies that I find on the ground change that I find on the ground, anything that I find on the ground, um, I always pick it up. You know, a lot of people won't pick it up because I don't know if they don't want to be embarrassed, you know, having people think that they, they're, they're so broke they have to pick up pennies. Um, I don't care. <laughs> I actually started back in, I think like 2011, I started picking up every single piece of change or dollar bills because I do find dollar bills quite a quite often within the last two weeks alone we found nine dollars in bills on the ground um, so in 2011 I started picking up my change because I always wanted to and I would if no one was around but I wouldn't do it in front of people because I just don't like drawing attention to myself and when people see you bending down to pick something up they automatically want to know what you're doing uh, but I started doing it and I collected everything that I picked up for I think it was two years or maybe it was a year year and a half ish when I finally cashed it in out of necessity it was close to two hundred dollars that I had that I had gained just from merely picking up the pennies dimes nickels quarters or occasionally back then a dollar bill when I saw one um, so I have always had a passion for finding money earning money uh, doing odd jobs here or there, little ways that I can earn without having to work for someone else, basically. And I've always been passionate about ways of saving money, of cutting costs. Um, I love, like, 
saving for long-term things, you know, savings plans, budgeting, anything like that. It's just in me. It always has been. And it wasn't like I, I started doing it because I was broke. It's just, I guess, I just love money. <laughs> and I remember in college I took a class in psychology. It was actually my, my pops, my stepfather's class that I took. And he was, I don't remember what the topic of discussion was, but he was talking about how people think that they love money, but they don't really love money. They love what money can do for them. And I remember disagreeing. I didn't do it with him in front of the classroom. There's no way. But I remember thinking, like I totally zoned out on the rest of the uh, lecture after he said that. Because I was just like having this internal dialogue with him. Explaining that it's not, it's not the things necessarily that I can buy. It's actually having the money. Having the money makes me feel secure. Because a lot of the times I will save up money with the intentions of buying something. And then when I go to buy it, I can't let go of the money. I can't. Even though I really want the thing, my brain starts going, but this is just something material. Do you really need this? Could you live without this? And I just want to save the money. I just, I'm kind of like, like Scrooge McDuck, I think was his name, from DuckTales or something, where he just wants to, he's got that building full of money. I just... There's something about having money stashed away, saving money that just makes me feel better. It makes me feel okay. It makes me feel secure. Um, and actually, one of my family members on my dad's side of the family, um, when she passed away, people found money <laughs> hidden all over her house in the in the floorboards, um, in the mattresses. I guess maybe she had to have told somebody about it. Or left it in her will or something. But she had money stashed away all over her house. And I know there's other people like that out there. And that's how I am. I would like to. I can't at this point in time in my life. But I would like to, when I can, have money just stashed everywhere. Just some little places here and there. Different bank accounts. So that maybe it's so that if I ever really do like critically need, crucially uh mm, some to insert word there because I don't know which word I'm looking for I know that I can I can pull some out and get through what I need to get through so I want you if you're having trouble like if, if you're like me and you're trying to like get the ball rolling on um, I know that some of you are interested in or have started a blog and or YouTube channel but if you're having trouble figuring out what it is that you want to tell the world what do you want to share with the world what's your passion what what can you offer think about what it is that you do consistently consistently regularly something that drives you without even thinking about it and I mean it could be it could be saving money like me it can be earning money it could be shopping it could be um reading it could be beauty related it could be uh philosophy and in, in life and um you know raising kids it could be food it could be animals it could be nature it could be anything anything that you find yourself drawn to that you do without anybody having to ask you to do it something that brings you joy and a sense of um peacefulness I don't know just I think if you if you just think about it for a minute what do I do all the time just because I enjoy doing it there's your passion that's your passion and you probably know a lot about it you probably know more about it than you realize and in that you can start sharing your knowledge and your experience and spreading your passion with others and hopefully help them out in some way so <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you guys um, I'm so I'm actually quite relieved to have finally realized that I've had a passion all along <laughs> alright guys so I'm just gonna leave you with that if you like this video please hit the like button and maybe share it with your friends um, and I guess I will see you next time. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I love you. Bye.